and yet we've got these tiny mm. dictators that want to prune the English language to fit inside their little acceptable four by four safe space. I mean, I, I, I want, remember uh, I was once abused for using the term blue to describe the ocean because apparently that was insensitive to depressed persons. Have you come across this? <laughs> No, well, I have come across it, but I've never entirely bought there. No one, um, ABBA, the great pop group ABBA, one of their last masterpieces, if I can recall it correctly, I must have had my seventh cigarette at half past two, and at the time I never even noticed I was blue. That's ABBA, who are actually more fluent in their second language of English than most of these Canadian professors are in what purports to be their first language. I've never, e I've never really bought it. That's from, you were, you were saying you didn't like jazz. That's from uh, jazz songs. I got the blues real bad. Uh, now, you can have the blues. I, I woke up this morning, I got the blues real bad. Now, you can wake up this morning and have the blues real bad. And the Pacific Ocean can also wake up this morning and have the blues real bad. It's perfectly possible for one word to have uh, to have different oh, we, we can't we can't call the ocean blue because uh, a depressed person might get even more depressed. She's depressed. She's already blue. The ocean's blue. They're in perfect sync.